This is Bob Sansevier with TwinCities.com web sports producer Kevin Cusick. Now, yesterday, I didn't see it coming, certainly, but there was an announcement by the Wild that Josh Harding was going on injured reserve for a week to adjust his treatment and his, uh, his medications for to, in his battle with multiple sclerosis. Now, Kevin, the thing about this is I don't know how people should react. It's great that he's doing it, but you almost a part of me was hoping – that uh, in thinking, he's playing so great. He's an elite, you know, goaltender. He's statistically the, the in, NHL leader. Yes, in uh, goals against average, and maybe he's going to beat this. But reality is, you don't beat MS. What you do is you keep it at bay, and that's what you take out of this. If he can take this week to make adjustments so that he can keep it at bay the way he has, that's a great thing. You just hope that it's not more serious than they're letting on. The way he's played, it doesn't certainly doesn't appear that there's some issues. They have gotten so much more mileage out of him this season. Again, he's leading the league in goals against. And where would this team be without his red-hot start, considering all the troubles that Nicholas Backstrom has had? Uh, he has saved the wild season. Uh, would really would save the wild season if they could find a way to get into the Eastern Conference because the playoff battle for the West it's going to be a yeah. dogfight all season. They're a bubble them. team and right in now. Some, in some ways, and Mike Yo mentioned this today uh, when he talked to our own Chad Graff in Pittsburgh, uh, the fact that this may be a blessing in disguise for the Wild because by giving Backstrom you know several games to play, that he may be able to get back to his old self. And so that when uh, Harding comes back from his uh, treatment adjustment, or whatever you want to call it, they would have two functioning goalies as opposed to just one red hot one and one struggling one. Well, that's the best spin you're going to put on it. And uh, but I mean, I, I, whether you're a wild fan or not, from you know, you, you have to. Uh, everyone's hoping that everything works out for him because it's a great story. Frankly, I think it's the best story in the country this year. Sure, because yeah. the, he's playing so much better than he did in his whole career that you you didn't ex- you didn't expect him to improve. After his diagnosis no. and a year or so. Well, it's, it's, it's a great story. It's a great inspiration. And we've, uh, you know, we talked to Jack Jablonski on Sports Radio 105 The Ticket mm-hmm. every Wednesday. And he says that, he's, that, I mean, Jack's an inspiration for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But Harding is one of Jack's inspirations. As you mentioned earlier in the week, you thought that he would have been a better choice for Sports I would have. Sportsman of the Year than that uh, quarterback in Denver whose name escapes me. Well, I just think what he's done and the fact, just the fact that he's playing makes it a wonderful story. Mm-hmm. The fact that he's playing at an elite level is off the charts. To better me. than he has ever has. Well, not only better than he ever has, better than every other goaltender in the league with what he's battling. And I just think... I don't think anything surpasses it. I think he was hurt, certainly, by the fact that it's, uh, it's the NHL and there's not as much national attention on the sure. NHL as there is on football. Sure, but it sounds like that this is nothing that was really unexpected, and they expect him back uh, next week when they uh, play Winnipeg, well, I believe, is when he's expected back. And they're looking forward to having two goalies as opposed to one, and that's a, that would be a big help down the stretch. Well, I care less about whether they have two goalies, than, and I'm sure you do too, than that he does – is able to maintain the health he's had and keep it uh, at bay. And, and frankly, with the advancements, because I've done some research on, on it and with MS, you can uh, lead a, a close to normal life, and your life expectancy doesn't change necessarily because mm-hmm. you have MS because of the, the advances they've made. And he could keep it at bay, and that would be great if he does. Because, again, it's anyone with a debilitating disease, he's an incredible inspiration for people like And you that. don't see many people with MS excelling at this level in pro oh, sports. no. no. Well, Kevin, always a pleasure talking to you. And uh, to everyone out there, have a great holiday. Yes. No, have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And every other holiday you may, if you're into Festivus, that too. We're going to air our grievances in a moment. This is Kevin Cusick. I'm Bob Sansevier. Have a great holiday season.